What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Raul. Uh, today we're gonna be working on the RSX finally. Nothing too major. We're just gonna upgrade the brakes. I recently upgraded the front brakes, but I never got to the rears because I was in a rush of like moving and stuff. So now we're gonna be working on the rears. We got some slotted brakes, some new brake pads. Right now we're heading to the, the auto parts store to get a brake fluid, uh, I don't know, maybe some brake cleaner for sure, clean the rotors. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's starting to get really hot out here in Las Vegas. I don't think I'm ready for the the heat. I mean, I, I've already, I'm already used to the heat because I live in the desert. I used to live in the desert out in California, but over here it gets to like 115, maybe even like higher. My AC on my RSX, man, it's been acting up. It like only works when I'm driving. And then when I'm at a stop, it like stops working. So I hope it's not the AC compressor or whatever it's called. Hopefully I don't have to switch that out. I hope it's just a recharge. And uh, yeah, I should be fine during the summer. All right guys, so we made it to O'Reilly's. We got the brake cleaner, the little clamp, I guess, to push back the, the caliper piston, whatever. Some gloves so we don't get our hands dirty. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head back to the house now. Um, Probably could start by some Starbucks or something. This is hot. I'm gonna be outside. Yeah, keep hi yeah, stay hydrated. Sorry I didn't have a vlog in a while, but you already know how that goes. I never <laughs> I'm never consistent. So I don't know if you guys noticed I am not in my car. I'm in my cousin's car because uh unfortunately the RSX is down. It still runs, but uh the clutch started slipping, it's starting to smell like rubber and it takes forever to like take off. I already ordered a new clutch. We're gonna go with the action clutch, the stage two clutch. Also bought a, a new flywheel. It's not lightweight. I went with the regular OEM style flywheel, whatever. It's not OEM, but you know. Yeah, we're here at Starbucks, you already know. We're getting that venti acai with some raspberry syrup. That's what I always get. All right guys, so we're back at the crib. We're here. Uh, got everything ready we're gonna jack up the car and switch out these brakes so I went with some slotted uh, brake discs from R1 concept uh, I already installed them in the front and then we're gonna go with some regular brake pads uh, they're last from AutoZone warranty you already know and uh, yeah Right, guys so the wheels off um now that i think about it i think i've only switched out the brake pads like once out of the three years that i've owned this car and i've never replaced the uh brake rotors i mean i can switch out the brake pads now but i can't even i have to take off these little screws and it looks pretty rusted on there i think we're gonna be here i think we're gonna be here for a while i might have to take off the freaking uh grinder to freaking sloppies so it turns out that you actually had to take off the e-brake cable to take off the caliper this part because that's where the cable is attached so in order to take off the rotor you would have to take off the cable in order to take this out I tried taking these out but it turns out they're already stripping i mean i don't know i tried man but it's just stripping and it's just gonna get worse so i'm just gonna get the grinder plug it in real quick and just cut this off Alright guys, so <laughs> we finally got it out. Finally got the whole rotor out. 
You gotta grind that shit out, the, the bolts that were stripped, that were stripping, whatever. Hard to take out, because it was all rusted and stuff. But uh, we finally got it out. We don't really need those bolts. Put some brake cleaner on the new rotor. Slap on the brakes and uh, yeah, go on to the other side. Wow, looks nice. Dude, I really need a cameraman because this thing is hard to do by yourself. I could have sworn we just needed this to compress the piston back in. This thing, whatever. But I think that's only in the front. The rears, you actually have to twist them to push the piston back in. Or whatever you want to call it. Probably using the wrong words, but this thing that pushes pressure into the brake pads. Turns out you have to twist it, not compress it back in. You don't have to press it back. Bro, that shit's crazy. That should be fine. Yeah, fine. So I got this one done. It's ready. Should be fine. Make sure to pump your brakes. Those bolts don't really matter when you bolt on your, your wheel. It shouldn't move anywhere. Paint the calipers. Calipers red for sure. Or I don't know, maybe a different color, but for sure paint the color, the, the calipers, make it look cleaner. These are actually pretty looped. You see that? It's supposed to do that. It's not bad. <sighs> Again, you don't press it in, you gotta twist it for it to go back in. Piston. I got lucky on this side, it doesn't have the, the rotor bolts. It goes right here on the sides. So I'm just gonna hit it with a hammer. Sometimes I think to myself, like, why did I choose cars? How come I couldn't, like, learn how to play the guitar or something? You know how much money I saved? Like, out of all the parts I installed on this, like, usually people would just take it to a shop and let them handle it, but, you know. I come from a low-income family, so, you know, I'm basically YouTube certified. You know, you just look up YouTube videos and you learn yourself and try it out yourself, and so far it's been going Going as planned, I guess. Next is the clutch, but see how that goes. I think after that, I think uh, I think I should be good. You know, I should be able to go through any install. I, that should be the hardest install yet. All right, y'all, so new brakes, new brake disc, slaughter disc from R1 Concept are installed. The front ones were already done because I was working on the suspension. I was switching out some other parts, so I just switched them up and I never got the, I never got a chance for the rears. We're just gonna go drive it around, show you guys the clutch slipping and stuff. Oh. But I'm just going around the corner just to show you guys. Like the revs go up and it doesn't accelerate. It's like the clutch is not doesn't it's not gripping on anymore. 
and it is giving me a rubber smell like a burnt rubber smell so it's got to be the clutch Alright you guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. just wanted to show you guys the new clutch that I got. It's going to be from Action Clutch. Thought that that was my address. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I went with uh, Stage 2. I think this is the throw out bearing. Yeah, the throw out bearing. The tool to align it. Pressure plate. Threw in some stickers. Stuff. Yeah, bro, it looks crazy in person, man. Like, I've always seen it in pictures, but, bro, like, I don't know, man. I know this is, like, my first clutch and all, but, bro, the quality, bro, for sure, man. Like, it's crazy. This is the clutch disc. It's the stage two one. I was going to go with stage one, but I was like, I don't know, just get a better grip or something. I mean, I'm not going to push any like crazy horsepower soon i also got a new flywheel yeah that should be the next install video if not then like it should be one of the one of the vlogs coming up for sure though because it's slipping like crazy yeah guys i cut my hair again because it's hot out here and i don't really do my hair like that so like i don't know i just cut it bro i just did the bus cut it was shorter but now it's growing out again but try something new it's gonna be the end of the video thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys watching my videos the subscribe count keeps going up i appreciate you guys the new subscribers my name is rob ramirez i work on my car a 2004 acura rsx type s stay tuned for more videos hope you guys like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one later